Hey everyone, this is Chuck Trues here, product manager at Fleetio, and I'm excited to share with you the first iteration of our new tire management features. These updates will be applicable to part records, part categories and account settings, as well as, of course, vehicle profiles as well. So let's jump in, starting with what we've done with part records. One of the things that you'll notice is when you're creating or editing a new part, if you apply a category of tires or anything that you designated a tire category part, an assortment of new tire specific fields will appear. Things like tire metric, width, construction, diameter, speed rating, really all of the data points that make up a tire size that you could find on the sidewall, the tires installed on, on your vehicles. And as I mentioned, there is a possibility maybe you have a different custom category for tires. That's not our standard tire category. Maybe it's brakes. Maybe it's something you call, you know, tires miscellaneous. Really, whatever it is that you'd like to indicate is a tire specific part category. You could toggle from account settings. And when you go to create or edit a part and apply that category, those new tire specific fields will appear. I'll show you in just a minute uh, how these tire specific fields play into the installed tires in your vehicles with inside of Fladio as well. Moving over to the vehicles index. Let's uh, take a look at a vehicle profile here. You'll notice we have a new tire management tab and tire activity tab. The tire management tab is where you can set the axle configuration and install tires on uh, individual vehicles. So we need to know the axle configuration in order to understand how many total tire positions you have. You can go through a guided experience in this case, if you're not exactly sure, or you could select, say, I know my axle configuration and select from the list of total uh, axle configurations available. So in this case, we've got a, uh, a dually pickup truck. So we'll select four by two rear wheel drive dually. We'll save that configuration and you'll get your vehicle axle configuration visual here. If you made a mistake, no worries. You could always edit it and select a new one. And there's two different ways to install uh, tires at individual positions. You could click add from the installed tires card here, uh, in which case you'll need to select the axle in which positions, or you could just go ahead and click on the tire positions. And from there, you just select the information. This is where the new tire part categories come into play, where you could optionally select what type of a tire it is. So in this case, you could select this tire. You could say whether it is new or used. If it's used, maybe it's on the shelf somewhere. You could say that's the number of miles on it. And we'll start tracking miles on that tire from that meter. Or in this case, let's use the example of a new tire. We've set the axle in position for you. Let's say we've got, you know, 21, 30 seconds of an inch. And might just, you know, set it at, who knows, 60 PSI. Great. So now you've got a currently installed tire. If you hover over it, it'll show you the date installed, the number of miles that have been driven on it, current tread, and tire pressure. Same thing goes here. As you continue to install tires, uh, you'll be able to see all the information associated with it. Uh, and you'll also be able to come in here over the course of time and do things like update current tread depth or current tire pressure. As you install tires and update tread depth and pressure, when you navigate to the tire activity tab, you'll see all of that information reflected in the sub index here. So you'll understand what the activity was, whether it's installation, tread depth reading or pressure reading, you'll know who did it. Uh, tire pressure, tread depth, axle, and which position uh, it's at as well. And again, anytime you hover over a given tire part, you'll be able to see all those tire specific fields that you've indicated on the part record itself. So that's how you uh, set axle configuration and install tires, as well as update their tread depth and current PSI on vehicle profiles. One other thing to mention here, if you come to your vehicle's list index, you'll notice two new columns for axle configuration and installed tires. So we wanted to make it a little bit easier for you to uh, set axle configuration for vehicles in bulk based on what you know about them. So a, a common scenario is that, you know, Chuck, I know uh, the axle configuration for a large group of my vehicles. For example, uh, let's say all the vehicles where the make is Ford and the model is let's just say, you know, transit passenger. I know these are all four by two single rear wheel vehicles. So in this case, you could select all, click to update vehicle, choose axle configuration, choose four by two rear wheel drive. 
continue to review and you'll have all of your axle configurations updated in bulk so that when you go back to install tires, it's already set there for you. Uh, additionally, you'll be able to see the number of installed tires on any given vehicle. So if you wanted to go through and see, okay, which one of my vehicles with an axle configuration set, but no installed tires, this is kind of your hit list for, for action to take. Yeah, I'm excited for you all to take advantage of these features. This is what we have to offer you for the first iteration of our tire management features. Look out for much more improvement to come on this feature set in the very near future here. Thanks. <laughs>